you have common sense if you notice there's a world around to not if you are thinking you can do whatever you want to do there is only one thing that i know is true about existence you may think that it's common it's not so common sense that we're dealing with oh hello there hi welcome in to season three episode 20 our season finale what happened to my hand there i don't know <laughs> i am uh there it is <laughs> <laughs> i am lop this, this is sky we see you in the live chat we appreciate you being here if you're listening to us going down the road on the podcast look out there's a bird we made it to the end of another season you believe we've made it for three whole seasons no I didn't think we were going to make it for three whole episodes. <laughs> well, I'm glad to know you had a lot of faith in us. But look how far we've come. I was a real person. You were a cloud. <laughs> <laughs> now we're both cartoons. Now we're both cartoons. We're, look, we're on the beach. We've got a beautiful campfire behind us. Living life. We're, we're, we're raising up. And it's all because of you guys. We appreciate all of you and your support. It means the freaking world to us. It really yes, does. It you have no idea. Every time there's any kind of interaction on our socials or anything, we get excited. We love it. You guys uh, keep following and, and downloading our podcast. And I got an email this morning saying we got a bunch of downloads this week, which yeah, is really cool. Yeah, I saw cool. that too with like different episodes. Like yeah. it wasn't even like, so that was really dope to see. So yeah, yeah you guys we, make us happy. We appreciate it <laughs> a lot. How have you been, Sky? What, what's going on with you? Well, as you know, I've been plug, plug, plugging away on the nonprofit. Mm -hmm. I am still running the raffle, which does end the end of this month, the 30th. So people have a, until noon that day to purchase raffle tickets. Okay. And how do they do that? So they have to go to notjustpets.org and just hit the raffle button. It's right there, smack dab in the middle. Just hit the button and it'll take you right to the page. Uh, like I said before, it's notjustpets.org. Not, I said it, not you. Not just pets.org. Oh, yeah, no, you said that. No, you said it just now. You, no. you guys heard it here first. <laughs> no taxi patsies. It's too late. Uh, which is a oh, common shoot. mistake that anybody could make. <laughs> um, but yeah, Twice. get over there. Jo join the, the, the raffle. Listen. <laughs> some reason, Google history just stays there and it automatically brings up what you had open. Okay. Uh, and I want it said here first, I want to set here live that um, it is your job, Sky, that if something ever happens to me, like a house falls on me or something, um, <laughs> and I, I bite the dust, it, it's your job to come and delete all of my browser history. <laughs> There's nothing gross on there, it's just a bunch of nerdy stuff, and I don't really want to be known as a big nerd. <laughs> Fair. That's fair. I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't let that happen to you. I got you. I, I got you, bro. <laughs> if you were to look at my browser history, it goes from NASCAR stuff to space to <laughs> animals to podcast stuff <laughs> to video games to. <laughs> it's all I'm, over the place. There is I'm no. I'm the same way. There's no rhyme or reason. If somebody were to look at it, they'd be like, oh, yeah, he has ADHD. 100%. <laughs> they would just come to my house and just see, like, a shit ton of tabs open and be like, what? Yeah, I don't know how you do fuck? that. Listen to me, room readers. She has, I've seen, she has shared her screen with me before, and I've seen. She has, you know, the tabs at the top of your computer that you can open for you, uh, for you, Elder people watching, those are those little boxes at the top that says which website you're on. Uh, she had like 30 of them open at one time on this on her screen. When I have more than two open, I get anxious. Yeah. And I, I have just... four monitors that I'm working with over here. You know what it is? It's... <laughs> It was in the very beginning stages of like me trying to discover like what the fuck was going on with me and my ADHD and stuff like that. It was before I even knew I had that. I was just living life. <laughs> but I would put all these things up there because I'd be like, oh, this is interesting. I really need to look into this. And I would leave it there. But then I'm like, wait, but I'm gonna, I have looking at other things. So like, it's kind of like I use it as like 
my little pins. Like people have little little stick it notes and or they put it on their phone or they have little task things. I can't do that. So the way I function is because I hate having things open. I hate notifications. So if I see the tab there, I know I'm going to need to get rid of it. And I'm not going to just close out of it. I'm like, why is this here? Open it and be like, oh, fuck, I have to do this. And then I get it done. And then I close it out. And I'm like, oh, yay. So it's like, <laughs> it's like my little accomplishment thing. <laughs> I don't know. It works for me, but I get shit done. So, <laughs> well, I mean, that's the thing is it like uh, my sister and I, for example, we are polar opposites. She can just set things down anywhere and she knows where it is. You know what I mean? She can at any moment in time, I can be like, did you see this paper clip? Somewhere and she's like, oh, yeah, if you move that book over there and then take that cabinet and open it and then slide the box back. I'm like, how do you how do you know these things? Like, I can't do that. I have to have everything color coordinated. You know, it's got to be organized. My I should have worked at a library. You should have. My whole life is just the Dewey Decimal System. You 100 percent should have. Yeah. I love libraries. I used to live at the library. Actually, you know what's so funny that you said that? I don't think I even told you that I said this, but I went to the library this beginning of this week to go pick up a book. Uh, well, not this week, but last week. My weeks are all the same now. But I went to go pick up a book for my kid that we had put on hold. And for some reason, I was looking at the back of the book where, like, remember where you used to put, like, the little cards for, like, you know, they would stamp the card to tell you when you needed to bring the book back. Mm -hmm. And they would have these little pockets in the back. And they don't have those anymore because everything is like digital. So you just scan it in and bada bing, bada boom, you're done. You don't even have to talk to nobody. And that was great. But like when I was picking it up, I was looking at the book and I was like, wait a minute, where's the, they got rid of like the Dewey Decimal System. <laughs> from <in there. laughs> I was just like, how do you guys organize? Well, everything's on a barcode now. And I'm like, but like, I miss going to the computer hub and then looking it up. And then I getting the numbers miss. and searching for it. It was like an adventure for me. It was like a puzzle. Like, so I really liked it as a kid growing up. I don't miss anything about the library. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't a particularly quiet child. <laughs> so um, that place was a, just an evil place for me. <laughs> that in church, I was just so uncomfortable every time I went to church. Church, I as can't a kid. go into. Yeah, as an church. adult, I'm fine, but like as a kid, I just I was so uncomfortable walking into churches. I felt like I was walking into like this like, "Gotta be quiet, don't say a word, like, <laughs> don't step out of line." You just you know what I mean? Like I don't I know, it was like, wild. I felt like every time I was walking into church as a kid, I was walking into the pits of hell. Yeah. Like, well, it literally felt like I would get so anxious. Like, my heart would feel like it was going to explode. Like, I hated the smell. I hated, like, the weird, like, uh, They say that happened. Like, it was all, it was like, yeah, I don't know what church all... you went to. Yeah. I, mine wasn't <laughs> like that. So weird. I didn't like it at all. Uh, I just felt dirty. I didn't, I didn't want to be there. <laughs> yeah. I, um, uh, <laughs> I was just always uncomfortable the whole time. Like, I think I just held my breath, held in farts, like, everything. <laughs> the whole time. I just... I was something about it. I just wasn't. Can't be human. Can't be human. Can't be human. Yeah. Can't be human. <laughs> Basically, I like think that's how I learned to become a robot. <laughs> and probably. And I, I just can't do that anymore. Even I got. I said I'm okay as an adult, but even as an adult, I'm. I still. It's still a little. I'm uncomfortable. Yeah. You know what I, I mean? Can't. Like I just feel like I. I don't belong. Same. And, you know I mean? so, and that's like, nothing against them at all. I just feel like I don't belong yeah. in those places, you know? I Yeah, I totally 100% get it. Like, I've never really been a religious person. I've always been a question everything. I just want to. Mm -hmm. And they don't. I remember going to Sunday school and questioning. Literally, they were talking about the existence and how everything came to be. And they were like, you know, and on the seventh day <laughs> and the whole night, right. right? And I like, I remember raising my hand and I was just like, okay, but like, where did God come from? And they're like, God, God was just there. I was like, but you just said everything was created by God. So therefore, God has a creator. So where did God come from? And they were just like, it just is. You just have to have faith. And I'm like, well, it's nothing about faith. I just genuinely want to know. Like, where, yeah. where's his mom and dad? Like, where's his parents? Like, we all have parents. Where, like, how did he come to be? Was and God an orphan? So, <laughs> was God an orphan? 
(laughs) And like, she got so mad at me. She was just like, how dare you question it? You really need to look into the Bible more, blah, blah, blah. And I was like 13 years old. And I was just like, this is, I was like, these are hard questions. And I felt like at that point, it had nothing to do with like the religion itself, but more or less like, well, you're not giving me an answer and I need to find this answer. Like, well, you're that, telling me if this was what it is, then uh, fine, I'll believe it. But where where does it stem from? I that, need to know the origins. That transfers over to schools as well. Yeah. Like, I, I don't... You start questioning people, teachers in schools, they, they get mad at you. This is yeah. how it's supposed to be. No, this is it. This is... You, you question... Now, there are... I'm not saying all teachers, guys. Just calm down with your hashtags. <laughs> um... <laughs> But there are teachers that do, they would get upset. Like for me, because I, I was the same way. I was inquisitive when it came to things that I didn't like get. Yeah. You know? And I would me. ask questions. <laughs> and then when I would point out that what they're saying didn't, I didn't understand it or it didn't make sense or something, they would put it on me as if I were dumb. Mm-hmm. So therefore, yeah. in turn, it made me not want to ask questions and learn yep. more. And it just made me become that little obedient, shut up, listen. Agree yeah, to everything that's down. taught uh-huh. to me and move on. And, and it's so funny that now that I'm older and I've pushed past that, like, well, I'm not shutting the fuck up anymore. Like, either you tell me the answer or you're useless to me and I'm going to move on. Right. I feel like more and more people get irate and angry about it. And they're just like, why can't you just, why can't you just let it alone? Let it alone. Like, it's like, okay, so what, what is, what are you all hiding? Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to get some answers. Just answer the question. It's a yes or no. What, whatever it is, I'm, I'm okay with it. Well, I think what it is is people don't know. They don't have an answer. I know. And that's okay, too. I feel like a lot of people need to realize that, like, there are so many things that we never had an answer for back in the day. We didn't have an answer on how to fly. We didn't have an answer on how to drive a car. We didn't have an answer on buildings. We didn't have an answer on food and how to sustain food. Like, we didn't have a lot of answers that we do now. Like, it's okay to not have an answer or to just say, hey, I don't know, but don't give up trying to figure it out. Don't give up right. and say, like, oh, it's, it's it's just a never thing. It's nothing. No, there's always an answer. Yeah. Just We you just, just don't know it yet. Enough. Yeah, you just got to keep going, find the answer. And I think that's why I love science so much and why, like, I go down the paths and rabbit holes that I go to because I'm always, like, I need to know the answers of why, 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 and if if there is no answer, why isn't there an answer? Where, where did we come from? Where did we, where did we go to an agreement on this particular thing? Yeah. I'm a nerd. <laughs> well, no, I think, I think that was the biggest misconception, I think, growing up in school. Because kids are stupid, let's be honest. I know, they're <laughs> smart kids. Calm down with your hashtags. Listen. <laughs> this episode is going to be called hashtag. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> Um, <laughs> hashtag episode yeah. but it's it's uh damn it i lost my train of thought oh no <laughs> that was the big thing in like school was uh people were labeled as nerds but the people that were labeled as nerds were just people that were, were inquisitive and just didn't accept the, the end all be all to everything mm-hmm. that they were told they're like well no this is so they were they reviewed like because they would ask questions in class and people were like oh you're just a goody two shoes brown nose that was a big mm-hmm. one brown nose I never understood brown nose until I got out of like high school I think oh god I didn't realize no. it meant like their nose was just shoved up their shoved. butt yeah yeah never knew that <laughs> never knew that never those two things and listen I have a podcast about common sense guys and i that was just one of those things that slipped through the cracks on me you know what i mean have you ever had anything like that where like later on in life you learn something and and everybody else has always known it and always said it or always done it and then you finally figured out why it was like that and you're like oh i'm an idiot (laughs) there's things like that that just i'm gonna have to honestly get back to you on that yeah and there has to be something that i was just like there's always things like i can't i can't off the top of my head yeah say oh i are like i know you've even (laughs) said it to me before about things i don't remember what but you've said it to me like i know oh that's why that's like this yeah Yeah. (laughs) every human knew that (laughs) but me yeah 
So I think, yeah, I think that's just a, it doesn't matter how smart you are. That's going to be a thing that happens to people because you can't, Always. Your, your brain only focuses on so many things and, and things like that were never a priority to me. Things yeah. like why, what does brown nose mean? I just heard brown nose and I just thought that's a suck up. That's just a goody two shoes. <laughs> that's all. I didn't, I didn't think. <laughs> I never heard anything about, or I never even had the thought of where did brown nose come from? Yeah. And I mean, honestly, too, like going in even the opposite direction, like now that I'm thinking about it. So like you have like the opposite side of the spectrum, too, where you have these people who are inquisitive and we I, we know that we're inquisitive. We know that we have a leg ahead. But you have also the jerks on this side that are constantly calling the other people stupid mm. or ignorant or things like that. And it's not even that. It's just that I feel like everybody has a perception or an understanding of things and how they understand things. And I think everybody just wants to believe that everybody else around them is literally the same like them. But we're not like none of us are. We all learn in a different way. We all have our our strengths and our weaknesses. We all have the things that like we grasp like nothing and things we're just like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> like, right. you know what I mean like there's so many things like that and I feel like I hope I should say like I hope that people now can kind of look at somebody who maybe isn't grasping an idea or maybe isn't understanding and genuinely come from a place of like hey like what is it that you're having a problem understanding about this and let's see if we can kind of come together with a basic understanding for the both of us versus like you know, you're just an idiot and you're never going to understand this or like, oh, you don't know this? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, in that condescending cocky kind of thing, because I feel like a lot of people who are smart tend to have that trait where they're just like, they're overconfident on the things like that they are sure about and sometimes not even sure about, but they're just, oh, I know this topic, so I must know everything about it kind of people. Yeah. It kind of goes hand in hand. So that reminds me of uh, my boy Lon Lon, Elon Musk. <laughs> we all know... We all know Elon Musk, and Hashtag yes, I'm, Elon. I'm, I'm a I'm a I'm a fan of Elon. Um, calm down with your hashtags. Just deal with it, okay? Um, but uh, he had talked about a school system, and I, I know we we had lightly mentioned this before, but he talked about a school system where they should basically teach the basics, the English, math, you know, mm -hmm. whatever the, all the basics are, science. Teach the basics of those and up to a certain age. And then from there, let them pick their trade. Yeah. Like at a young age. Yeah. Let them try a trade. If they don't like it, then they wasted time on that trade. They can go to a different one. Exactly. Until, until they, they find the one out. that yeah. they want. And it's so funny because that's basically once I pulled my kid out of school and started homeschooling him. I'm I'm keeping him on the same curriculum that I have to, but because it's mandatory, like with the schools, even though it's all wrong, I'm still keeping him on the same curriculum and, you know, getting he's going through it. But I've also added that extra concept. He first started with coding and learned C++ and then Python. And then he wanted to build games. So we moved on to like Adobe and graphic designs and um, Unity and Unreal Engine and a whole bunch of other things because he he realizes like, OK, it wasn't coding that I wanted to learn. I wanted to to design. Oh, it wasn't design that I wanted to learn. It was I want to build a video game. So now he's in the, like the graphic design. Like it just generally progressed to his passion and what he likes to do. And now he wants to know more about that industry and that like, okay, where does this all come from? He's great with geometry now. He's only eight. You know right. what I mean? Like there's so many things where he's just like excelling at because he can now have an understanding of a correlation. And with that, too, he's reading a lot of things. It's helping all around. Like, he's reading a lot more. He's experimenting through his science. Like, he's going back to see, like, what didn't work before. Now he's going back to history. Like, there's a whole bunch of things. And I feel like a lot of people are like, no, no, no. Just got to learn these things. And that is it. It's not relevant anymore. Yeah. <laughs> it's, if it's relevant, okay. Keep it into the studies and keep it going. But if it's not relevant anymore... I feel like we're like, especially with a lot of history, people get worshipped for like no reason because of something that there was just a lot of history on. And like, oh my God, this person must have been great. And it was like a mass murderer. You know what I mean? Like, it's yeah. just, I just feel like history is just one of those things 
that kind of goes beyond what it is. I love history. Don't get me wrong. I'm always somebody who I want to know origins. So mm-hmm. obviously I love history, but I feel like the relevancy of certain things could be just put aside until they're needed. I agree. And I'm conflicted on the the whole history is doomed to repeat itself if you don't learn about it. Uh, because I think there's a lot of history that we, yeah, we learn about it, but a lot of it's incorrect too. Mm-hmm. So maybe what we're learning is incorrect. And since we don't, we don't have the right information, we make even worse mistakes moving forward. You understand? Like, yeah. People are looking and finding discoveries of ancient artifacts literally every day now. Where it was just like, oh, well, this changes the way this was, where we thought it was this way. This changed the way this was, that we thought it was, like, literally every day. And you guys could all look it up. You guys could all do the research. It is all there. All of the facts, all of the things. And it's Mm -hmm. insane to me because I'm like, a lot of this isn't even made publicized, especially around here right now with all the election bullshit and everything that's going on. And I'm like, there's so much stuff that should have more of a limelight than it does. Yeah. Yeah. And this I is agree. like something that's important. Like this is this is like our lives, like basically like how we came to be versus like who the hell is running for whatever who's not going to be con- in control very soon because of X, Y. I don't fucking care. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. It's all the same. Every yeah. year has been the same from the day I was born to now. <laughs> like yeah. Nothing has changed when it came to politics. Nothing changed in my life. Yeah. That's fair. That is fair. <laughs> Except for for recently, I will say. But, uh, you know, we're adults now, so I think that plays mm-hmm. a bigger factor. But even even now, like, other than the prices of everything being stupid, <laughs> everything's pretty much the same still, you know? Yeah, I, know. Uh, I was like, the only thing I think I like I, that was a plus for me, all right, I got free health care, but that's still, like, yeah. okay, something I should have. <laughs> Speaking of healthcare, (laughs) have you seen some of the freaking side effects on these medications these days? We watch, (laughs) listen, we watch the NASCAR race all the time, right? I watch NASCAR races, you watch them. Mm -mm. The commercials on there are geared toward, I don't know who they're geared them towards anymore. They must think only elderly men watch NASCAR. That's it. Um, (laughs) There's a lot of like ED commercials. Yeah, a lot of ED commercials (laughs) and stuff, but, or just like, just... (laughs) Just heart medicine stuff or just different (laughs) things, you know? But then you read the the side effects of some of them. Most of them end with or death (laughs) as one of the side effects. All of them end with or death. I feel like like it's such a broad cover. I know, but but how is that okay? Imagine I went to Chipotle and they're like, here, this burrito is amazing tasting. It could kill you. We don't know. <laughs> but here, you can still have it. We can still sell it to you. That's the same thing with medicine. <laughs> Imagine that came with every food. Every food had these. This food may cause upset stomach, diarrhea, indigestion, mm-hmm. <laughs> and possibly kill you. Have a great day. Like nobody instant would. Nobody death. would eat. Some of them say just nobody. instant death. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you will immediately die in two to three business days. Yeah. <laughs> I it's remember as, when I was younger, I always wanted to be one of those people that just went in and uh, did the medicine testing for money. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'd be great at that because <laughs> medicine never really affected me much. Yeah. And I was like, man, I could do these. They aren't, they aren't going to do anything to, you know, it's not, it's fine. They're probably nothing. It's probably all placebo and anyway. It's, it's just all bad. But now I think about doing that and I have an instant anxiety attack. Yeah, it's all bad. You're like, my I'm leg's like, gonna oh fall God. off, I'm gonna lose an eye. Right. My hair is gonna grow on my ass crack. Mm-hmm. Like, it's gonna be a whole thing. It's gonna be bad. It's just. But yeah, medication no. side effects are, are a little concerning. They are a little wonky. I just. I, I, again, it goes back to me going with all the fucking foods. I keep telling you this, and I tell myself this too. But preservatives, man. Mm. If you have, if you eat anything that has preservatives, it's it's crap. <laughs> well, I know it may taste really good. Everything and it's cheap. has preservatives. These I days. know. Oh my but god! Like, Even your farm fresh food is coming with pres- <laughs> preservatives. 
<laughs> we all just need to just garden ourselves. It's but like that's grown what it's like with, with the, preservatives in it. <laughs> it's like with the medicine too. It's just like there's all these extra stuff in the medicine, and it's like if you strip things down all the way to the very beginning, where like the herbs and stuff like. They've been using these things for all of this stuff for like billions of years, like before we were even doing anything. Well, also, and they were fine, but they weren't eating this shit that we're also being fed that is requiring us to need these new types of medications. Right, right. And it's just a fucking continuous circle. Yeah, but if we just, just eliminated cycle. all of that shit, but we're not going to because it makes people money. <laughs> As long as people, people are making money, it's just going to get worse. That's all there is to it. Yeah, but like even like. Not the people who want the money, but the people who are giving the money. Like, why? 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 Is it convenient? Is it laziness? Probably Is a bunch of different just, reasons. I just, I want to genuinely know why, people. Why it's do you guys allow this? I want to know everybody's reasons. All of you guys. Because I'm genuinely like, I want to I wanna put this down in a study and be like, why are the reasons that we are allowing I'm the say... rest of the world to control us in this kind of way? Like, what is, is it? What is it? I'm going to say I can't do it. The, the top, know. the top two answers are going to be convenience and money, price. That's that's, that's, that's pretty. Going be, that's going to be that. There, there are. That's your two answers. I'm answering for everybody. <laughs> convenience and price. What convenience other reason price. could you have? I don't taste. Know. I guess you could throw taste yeah, in there. I guess. But other than convenience, price, or taste, what other reason? Could you have? It's like, I don't know. I feel like my, my home cooked food always comes out better than. Oh, yeah, it always does. But that's inconvenient. You got to cook it. You got to prep. You got to clean all the dishes. You got You know what I mean? You, it's. I wonder if like the people who created like all of these things were like the people who were like left home for the first time after being spoiled mm -hmm. rotten by their parents. And they're like, oh, man, like <laughs> I could do all this myself. Probably. No, there's got to be an easier way to get this done. And it just kind of stemmed from there. Lazing yeah. it. It it's is. <laughs> Sky, do you ever forget people's name right after they say it? <laughs> All the fucking time, man. It's a problem. I feel bad. Oh I feel my bad going, God. wait, what did you say your name was again? So, okay, that's what I was going to ask. Are you one of those people that will ask the name again? Or will you just roll with I it? I used to when I was younger because I genuinely thought like that was like the nice thing to do until people made me feel like shit about it. So I was just like, I still all right, do see it. ya. And I just never ask ever again. They were I like, I, already, you, I told you, you don't know my name. All right, well, fuck you. I don't want to know your name. <laughs> yeah, I... Yeah, I mean, if you're going to, if they, if they come with, I just told you, or if they come back with anything snotty, but like, never mind, I don't want to know it. Yeah, <laughs> I don't, like, don't want to know your name. You can. Uh, oh, fuck you. Sorry, fuck we, my, I was a little distracted, or I was doing, I had, I was thinking about something else when I met you, like, <laughs> sorry, I didn't, I didn't retain your name. I'm trying. <laughs> I should just start with like, oh, I'm sorry. I was really focusing on not letting the shit come out of my ass at the time. What did you say your <laughs> name was? <laughs> I'm just going to start saying, my nipples are leaking, and I'm a little distracted. <laughs> don't have the shrimp, man. Just don't no. have the shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I've, I've, that's been a problem of mine my entire life. I can forget people's names as I'm shaking their hand and they're telling it to me. <laughs> I know. Sometimes I don't even hear that. I never, I don't even have time to forget because they never enter. It never like, hey, enters. my name is Morning. Because How's I'm your focused day on going? I'm focused on my reply to hi, how are you, or whatever they're saying. Yeah. I'm not focused on what's their name. I'm focused on how am I going to reply to what they're saying. You know what's so funny? Now that you've mentioned that, like I'm trying to think of like what is in my head that is happening when I meet people. Usually what's in my head when I like I hear the whole entire conversation happening and I can answer it no problem. But in my head, I'm going through like a whole monologue of different things that are happening elsewhere in my life. I'm like, man, I'm really hungry. What am I going to eat after today? Did I did I feed the cat this morning? Yeah, no, I left it a bowl of food. I'm pretty sure I did. Like there's a whole <laughs> bunch of stuff that's happening in my head. And then like they'll say my name and I'm like, uh-huh. Yeah, no, no, no. I'll get that report to you on Friday. Yeah, no, of course. <laughs> I was like, yeah. how did I know what was being said? <laughs> <laughs> who who works on Fridays though? My question was I don't know. That about. I don't uh, know. No, there's something that uh I've been noticing on TikTok and Twitter and all of the teased medias. 
Um, <laughs> people are trying really hard to figure out uh, how the work week should only be three days. Yes. And I was wondering how you feel about that. Do you think the work week should only be three days instead of five? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We'll take the two days. 2020. Bam. Fucking <laughs> just <laughs> drop it down. The 40 hour work week is a ridiculous thing. It's a ridiculous notion. There's so many things within those 40 hours I could do in like literally like half the time. The biggest There's problem so with it for me is is the 40 to 50 hour work weeks and people still are barely surviving. Oh, yeah. Barely surviving. But that's the thing. Okay. So now you're working less time. You have the rest of the time to do the things that you want to do, that you love to do, that's going to bring you joy, mm -hmm. create a craft, and get out of that shitty-ass job and make something for yourself. Mm -hmm. Because now you're spending more time on yourself and your needs and the things that you need to get done versus the latter. And businesses could literally alternate days and stuff. They or can do just Monday, hire Tuesday, more Wednesday, people. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday, Wednesday. You know what I mean? Yeah, and hire more people. Yeah. It just opens up more jobs for more people. Like, there's different places, different things you can do. Everything happens on these days for these businesses, blah, blah, mm -hmm. blah. But so everybody has a chance to do what they need to do when they need to do it. Like, there are so many things that I, I swear to God, like, I don't understand how people... I know the answer. The answer is always greed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, it's always the answer. It's always the answer, and I hate it. I hate it. I hate it because you know me. I'm like a really selfless person. I will give literally anything to anybody. Like, I just I just do. I don't care about shit. <laughs> I genuinely don't. And it breaks my heart because I'm like, you know, this could be so much easier if, like, you could just forget about worldly possessions, like, and just not give a shit and just live in the moment and be like, all right, well, what is going to make me, like, super happy right now? Like, and for me to do for somebody else or for me to do for something else, mm -hmm. not just, like, my own selfish personal needs. And I think that's where society just starts to, to crumble is just everybody is just stuck in that me mentality all the time. Yeah. I hate it. No, I, I, I genuinely hate it. I agree. And it's only getting worse because people are now to the point where they're getting scared because they're, they're saying me because they don't have anything. Or, you know, it's it's in a day or two, mm -hmm. you may not have that money that you have right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? You may not have that house that you're living in right now because nobody can afford anything these days. And, yeah. And so the greed, it's not even necessarily greed anymore. It's it's fear survival yeah people well are like well there's a line where it turns from fear to greed you know yeah. what i mean there's a line if you're if you're one of the there is no middle class anymore i don't think upper middle class anymore. no i think I it, feel it, like it, it went just, from from rich and not rich that's those are the two yeah. classes now pretty much yeah and it, it's gotten so divided that now I don't know if there's any way that the not rich can kind of bring it back closer to where things are a little more evened out. Yeah. Because the rich have gotten so far advanced, they can keep the not rich not rich. They can keep them losing their money while they're still gaining money. So the, the gap is, get, is, what I'm, is what I was talking about. The, the gap's getting worse. Yeah. It is getting worse. And it's it's sad to me. Like, it really is. We just gotta, like... There's so many things that we could do to make it so much better if we just, like, work together just for a little bit of time. Just, That's just the a little issue. Nobody works together. a little together. bit of time. No, just a little bit of time. There's so many things that could be accomplished. Or they okay. do work together. The rich are working together up in the... You know, the politicians are... Because no, all the politicians get, like, a normal salary, but for somehow they're all millionaires... So, <laughs> I'd love to know how that works. Uh, um, They're like, I work hard, do you? Well, do you? it's just like somebody that makes a certain salary, you know, say you make 200000 a year. How, after five years in Congress, are you worth like $16 million? How, like, what happened there? <laughs> Something... So something is, is wrong there. That's not a correct picture. And it seems like nobody's questioning that. Nobody, no. Like, they are, but nobody knows what to do about it. I don't know. I, just, I, don't, I don't go into the politics stuff. I'm just, that's just one of those things. It's like, 
there's so many issues that we have to take address. care of and address that I don't think people know where to start. I think we're overwhelmed. You know what it is too is just it's you also said it to like right there is just that all these people that are in question they have the money they have the resources they have the expendable fundage like it is nothing to them to wire money to one person to that's going to wire it to another person that's going to wire it to another mm -hmm. person that's going to wire it to another person that's going to get a hitman to take you out for questioning them altogether. <laughs> you know there's literally nothing in the world yeah. stopping it and i know people are like oh you're just that's so funny because it's the movie hats. like but in all seriousness, this shit happens. Oh, like, yeah, I grew up in a country where, like, that happened in the street where somebody was just like, yo, I'll give you a hundred pesos. Just fucking shoot that motherfucker in the back of the mm -hmm. head. And they'll do that. They don't. All right, cool. It, it's people will do whatever they need to do to survive. And, like, I, I hate saying it like that because a lot of people are like, oh, well, you're saying that that may be OK for this person. No, it is never OK for people to do these things. But I understand it. I understand why somebody would go to a to a length because you don't know what they have as bills, what family members relying on them, who's on the deaf side in their family they're trying to save. Like nobody understands what another person is going through. Yeah. And, and it's just, it's terrifying that ugh, I hate that the world just revolves around money this way. It, yeah. I mean, it, it kind of always has. I mean, ever since I've been born, ever since I've been, I, the, the world turns on money. It just and it could has. be used for so much good. There's so many like billionaires that I think there's a site about it too of just billionaires just giving away money mm -hmm. like that they've just to people who need it like no questions like oh yeah just sign up and you know whatever I'll send you some money like literally because they can and they want to help and they're trying to and they are not in the limelight. They don't want their name out. They're not looking for this fame or this fortune or they're like, I already, I just, I got it. Now I'm bored with it. Like, I'm trying to give it to other people who need it. Mm -hmm. I still got to find this site. <laughs> but <laughs> once I do, I'll let you all in. Yeah. But so where do I go to sign up for free <laughs> money? I'd like to get in on the ground floor. But yeah, I don't uh, know. It's one of those, one of those deals that I'm not, it's above my pay grade. I don't know how I'm going to help the situation yeah. any. Other than just doing a podcast and maybe smarter people will hear it and it'll light a fire under them or something. I, I don't know. That's all I know how to do is get my uh, my common sense out there. At <laughs> least it's common sense to me. And uh, we we actually had somebody say that we shouldn't be allowed to have a podcast. Yeah. That we were we were our IQs were too low. To have a podcast. Which, I mean, to be How do you fair, feel about that? I feel like, you know, they're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> In his eyes. But at the same time, you know, whatever. If that's the way he perceives the truth of being let out and our truth and our opinion, and he got that upset about it, that they wanted to go ahead and make the comments that they did. You know, I kind of question where their head is at in the first place. You know, mm -hmm. they might. It's just like one of those things where if you don't understand it, you break it. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I get so frustrated yeah. and then you just smash the fucking toy. Like, that's what it was to me. Like, yeah. he was a little child who had a toy and he couldn't figure out why the circle wasn't fitting in the square. And then and just started to smash, smash it, it in. Yeah. <laughs> until it got in. Yep. Like, I, that was that kind of, like, energy I got. And I'm Neanderthals. Like, all right, Listen, well. we're all just Neanderthals. Okay? <laughs> I, not everybody calm down with your hashtags. I <laughs> know a lot of Neanderthals, though. <laughs> I grew Same. up around a bunch. You know? I, I, Same. Uh, everybody did. Everybody in their own towns. They all had, even all now, had even where somebody. I live yeah. now, as adults, I'm still seeing the Neanderthals. The, the, and what, I'm, what I mean when I say Neanderthals is... People that are refusing to to progress, yeah, with society. People that are in a stuck positive in, way. yeah, in a positive way. <laughs> They'll progress with the negative stuff all day long. But the Neanderthal thing is is they're just it's they're stuck in old times. Basically, is yep. what I mean. They they they're refusing to join us in the twenty first century don't want to grow up for me it's like that and they're childish like they're just yeah they're just childish they haven't developed yet for me they haven't, you know, they like, haven't matured enough to realize yeah. that maybe what they are doing is wrong 
maybe what their beliefs are could be incorrect. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, and there's uh, what I the biggest thing I've noticed about those type of people and people who I feel like have progressed a lot is empathy. Yeah. There's no empathy in the, in the Neanderthal side of people. Yeah. There's no, it's okay for in their minds to just make fun of people all the time and try to hurt people's feelings and do, and I'm not over here saying, Oh, I need a safe space. Don't make fun of me. You say whatever you want to me. I don't care. Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying is, there's no empathy for people for just trying to understand somebody. The, the, the attempt isn't even there. Yeah. To even because try. Like, I kind of feel like a lot of these people also, this is all they know because they've been sheltered. You know, they, they don't know. I, I more used to say be- that. I used to say that. But then I, I look back and I'm like, I was in that. I grew up in a small town, you know, a, a, not a very big town full of a lot of people that were, you know, kind of country and kind of Neanderthalish, you yeah. know, and I was one of them. And, and But I was able to change my mindset on it. So why weren't they? You know what I mean? That's my well, whole. Well, it's a lot more than that, too. Like, there's there's. It stems from the parents too. Like you had, you were that's true. Bad right? parents I was very to lucky to have great parents. You know? Yeah. Oh, I think we're having some technical difficulties. Yeah, oh, did we? Are you back now? Yeah. Yeah, we were having some some technical difficulties. You became a robot for a moment. Oh no. Yeah, it's okay. You're back now. You just, your your robot side came out for a second. Is all. Oh God. You're supposed it, to. It, was to keep that out of the see? podcast. I don't oh, think they saw, but they definitely heard something. Oh something wasn't no! Right. This is nothing. Everything's normal. This is this is yeah. just. It's a cold. Yeah. I just have a cold. But no, <laughs> I don't know. It's just one of those things where I hope people. I think with the internet and stuff, people are they're doing one of two things. They're finally, yeah, they're a little late, but hey, better late than never. They're finally figuring out you know, how to, pro- you know, progress mm-hmm. and, and move forward with society, or they're going the complete opposite direction. Yeah. Down the bad side of the um, internet where it's just, let's just be a troll. Let's do this. Let's, you know, let's just be kind of a piece of crap. And you know what? I get it. Like, I would love for everybody to like be going towards like, but listen, people, if you have people in your life that are like this, that you genuinely care about, but they're just not grasping it, it's okay to let them go. Because eventually they're going to get it or they just won't. But you got to let them go and just kind of keep growing one way. Because if the more of us get to one side, it's going to swing for the better. And they will yeah. eventually come around. I think we're making good strides and like going into like a positive direction, which yeah. is really awesome. We I'm gotta keep doing probably it. gonna piss some people off with this, uh, but I always hear people saying, "Yeah, but they're family. They're family. They're family. <laughs> they're family." That word "family" can go and jump in the river. Yeah, doesn't mean anything. It, it I, I've had friends to me that are way closer than a majority of my family. Mm-hmm. I have amazing family members. Don't get me wrong, but I also have some that aren't so amazing Mm -hmm. and it's like blood is thicker than water yeah the whole blood is thicker than water (laughs) thing is that's no it's not that was like drilled into your head as a kid though yeah especially in like the 90s it was like your family it's family family's everything fast and furious and ben diesel said the word family 88 times and (laughs) everyone took it to heart you know (laughs) and then and i I agree if you can make like if you can help your family do it but some people can't be helped like you said and those are the people you have to walk away from you have to let you them have go to let them go you don't and have to okay. you don't have to you don't have to hate them you don't have to be mad at them you don't have to do you just let them go down their path as you go down your path that's mm-hmm. it i've had amazing amazing friends throughout the years that eventually they, they stopped progressing. They stopped moving forward. And I, I finally realized, oh, they're not going to, 
they, they, they're, they're going down a different path than me. And I just let them go. I, I didn't, I, no fallouts, nothing. I just, I started just doing my own off. thing. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. No. And what's funny too, is that I've noticed that that happened a lot in my life and it always happened. It always progressively happened around times where like, I noticed that there was going to be a change happening in my life. Like every time a significant, like I, all of a sudden I got a job that required me to move or, you know, I wanted to go down a different venture in my life or like every, like, or a relationship was going to change. Like there's, there was something that always happened whenever I noticed people falling off. And I feel like a lot of people, when they get these like secure, like these security blankets of people and they start trickling away from them, they start to get scared and like, oh my God, is it me? Like, why is everybody leaving me? And they start to panic. And it's just like, no, I think people need to look at signs of the things that are happening. Not really signs, but just the patterns in their lives. Look at it more in a positive way if you can. And I know it's hard to do that, especially when you're going through something. But like a lot of the times, if you look at it in a positive light, you may find that there's a reason behind it all. And it may not be a bad reason. It just may be you've reached a part of your life that you're going to evolve into the next level, your next whatever, well, the next thing. Like you said earlier, everybody wants to think that we're all on the same the same page yeah. as far as how we learn and what we do. And we're not. We're just, we're not. So people, people grow at faster paces. They progress at faster paces and slower paces. I'm sure I've had friends look at me and say, he's not progressing enough for me. He's too, yeah. he's not, he's, he's a Neanderthal. And they've moved on and did their own thing and I'm doing my own thing. And maybe I've surpassed them now, or maybe I've caught up, or maybe I've stayed the same. Mm-hmm. Who knows? But there was nothing wrong with us going our own ways and letting people go. I like that you said that. Just let them go. Just let them go. Just gotta and let I, all the noise go. Let it all mm-hmm. just. I, the way that I put it this way, if everybody could take just five minutes, 10 minutes at most, and go through everyone in their life, the, you're the closest people in your life, and recount, okay, is this person somebody who was constantly bringing me joy or lifting me up? Or on my side, or like they, they're not somebody who's bringing me down in any way. If that person is like that, that's the person that you need to resonate with the most. If you have somebody who's not, that's always just down on your shit, who's just, just like, no, don't do that. Let's it go do this. And makes you feel bad, doesn't listen. Like, but you know, but they're just a fun time. Yeah. Those are the people that you need to start to, to look at yourself and say, okay, I need to be ready to let this person go. Mm-hmm. And I need to just allow it's it not to always just happen. Easy. It isn't because some of these people you've been friends with forever, or they may be even, you know, your, your brother, your sister, your father, like somebody, a cousin, somebody that is like so close to you that you feel so bonded because you've spent years with mm-hmm. even relationships. And this is why I, I laugh with like people are like, I want to get married. Okay. You guys are together now, but people still grow apart and right. that's okay. And you have to be okay with that. There are so many people who have been married for 20, 30 plus years gotten divorced and it was mutual because they're like, we just grew apart. We still love each other, but we want different things in our lives. Mm -hmm. And whether they come back together in the end, cool. But sometimes they don't and they they have different lives and they still keep in touch and they still have that love. It doesn't go away, but they have that mutual understanding because they understand people grow and people have that chance to grow and they accept it for what it is. And I know so many people like that. And those are people who I admire because I can, I can say like, Hey, you're honest with each other. And that's what I've always wanted is people just be honest with each other. Mm-hmm. But nobody wants to because it's they're scared, especially yeah. people who have who feel like they have no direction. Yeah, they're scared. And it is. Well, scary. and people that want to be honest with them also are scared because they're afraid of how they're going to react because exactly. people are emotional. Yeah. You're going to leave me. You think this is my like I'm doing my and they get all upset and like I've but had this is. Yeah. And it's just like, listen, there's nothing to do with you. Like and I've said this recently to somebody. I, they were just, there was no helping this person. And I remember saying to them, like, listen, I'm like, when you're ready to want to change and you're ready to want to go in this direction, you can hit me up. I'm here. I got you. Like, I will help you because I know it was hard to transition and to let go and to to be able to go through that. I'm still in the process of learning how to let go of things that I've, I, I just have a hard time letting go of. And mm-hmm. it's going to take some work. And this has been you know, over a decade of me doing this. So like, it's not something that's just like, oh, well, it's fine. Like everybody says, oh, it takes time. It does take time all in time. 
but you have to want it enough. You have to work on it because especially with us that have deep rooted things, if it's deep rooted, it's not going to like snap of your fingers and then boom, like, you know, that's going to be something that's going to take a lot of time, decades even before you're finally able to let it go. And it's going to depend on how consistent you are with working on it. It's, it takes work. Mm -hmm. You got to want it. And if you don't want it, it's not going to happen. And if the person doesn't want it, they're going to get mad that you want it. Nothing you can do about it. Just got to drug it off. Keep going. Yeah. And, and I've been, that's something that I've been working on for a long time is being okay with people just being upset that I'm, I'm moving on. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't, I'm letting go. Not that I'm moving on and being better. I'm just letting go. Yeah. I'm going a different direction. I'm going west. You're going east, you know? Yeah. And I, that's, a, I, I will, I'm the first to admit that's a, that is something I've always struggled with because I, I want to genuinely get along with people. And I don't, I, nobody likes it when people are mad at them, you know? Mm-hmm. And, and I genuinely, I just want everybody to vibe and get along together, you know? That's my yeah. whole thing. And so it, it's, it's hard for me to accept when, People are just going to be mad at me and there's nothing I can do about it. I but that know. is something I'm working on. And I encourage everybody else to do that as well. Just work on letting go. Letting go should really be the name of this episode. <laughs> Hashtag let go. Hashtag <laughs> let go. Uh, Nailed it. Yeah, that's perfect. And but yeah, no, you have been working on that. I've been noticing that. And you've been a lot better, I, I would say. like just Well, it's a scary thing has- to do, you know, when you get so used to... to being a people pleaser and trying to make sure everybody's okay. I'm that guy that always over text emojis and I'm like <laughs> always trying to like, I put this LOL, I put LOL at the end of everything because I'm I, afraid somebody's going to take offense to it, you know? I, and it's know. like, it's like, or, or I'm sending goofy laughing emojis or something, trying to make sure that the other person is. But you staying know on the same like level that? of lightness with me. I think when it comes to the emojis and stuff like that and the gifts, I think that was the reason why they were created is because with text, there's no emotion. There's no right. emotion in words unless you can actually paint a picture of what you are emoting beforehand. And the right. only way to do that is with an emoji, like an emoticon. You know what I mean? And I kind of yeah. feel like that's where winky faces came from when we started to do yeah. them like back in, you know, all that stuff. The eye roll, kind of feel like, the, yeah, yeah, the XD for like laughing, like you know, all these yeah. like stupid things, like, and I kind of feel like every, you kind of have to do that now with just mm-hmm. emoting, and it's fine. I feel like anybody who gets takes offense to anything in a text message, you're an idiot. I saw a commercial <laughs> once where I, I'm sure you've seen it. it might have been, a, it could have been a TikTok. Everything's the same to me now. If I've seen it on video, it's it's a commercial to me. Um, <laughs> But the there was this guy. It was, they were showing two different perspectives of the same conversation being texted. And it's one, Key and Peel. It was a Key. No, this one wasn't Key and Peel. This was this was uh, some big bearded guy. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know who it was. It must have been a TikTok. But they were like saying, like, uh, you want to you want to go get breakfast today or something. I don't know the exact. Yeah. I'm just bad living here, but. And he said, do you want to go get breakfast today? And the other guy said, sure. And then that guy read it as, sure. Or, sure. Or however he read it. (laughs) And then then he's like, well, we don't have to if you don't want to. And the other guy was like, he he replied with something that was just normal. He was upbeat and excited, but the other guy kept reading it as. (laughs) Yeah, he was like, oh, I don't care. Either way. Yeah. You don't care either way. What, you know, that's how the other guy was reading. So it's like, it's all perception and how you you perceive this and, other person as a whole. Well, not even that. Here's here's even more, like, the way that we're, we're explaining this right now, it goes even deeper than that. That's how you're feeling mm-hmm. on the inside. That's what you're mm-hmm. thinking. So therefore, you got to look at yourself. What's wrong? Why, yep. why are you so pent up? Why are you so worked up? Why, why is this conversation pissing you off this much or, or making you question things? What is going on with your mental state? Where the other guy is just loving life. He's happy. He's joyous. He's like, he's taking everything in a positive stride. You know what I mean? He's just like, yeah, let's go. I'm cool. Let's go. Like, I'm vibing. He's just like that happy-go-lucky dude. And the other guy is just like, 
the negative Nancy, just like mm-hmm. in the ni- life, just like life sucks. This is horrible. Everything's terrible. Everyone's out to get me. So those are two types of perspectives, people, just to show you, just as something as simple as a text message can show you how you can literally change how you can view everything in your life, good oh, and yeah. bad. And I get it because sometimes when it's bad, it's fucking bad. Right. But there's going to be good. May not be at the moment, maybe down the line, maybe literally the day you die. But there's something that's going to come out of everything that's there. It may not even be something for you. It may be something that happened that was bad, but it was something that somebody around you that needed it to happen. Mm-hmm. And, and I know that sounds fucked up because there's a lot of circumstances in the world, but it is. There's a lot of things that we don't even understand about other people. We don't barely understand our own fucking lives and what we're doing here. Could you imagine the next Joe Schmo or Nancy? Like, <laughs> yeah, I, no, I agree. It's it's just, uh, and I think people are working on it. You know, yeah. I think people are working on communicating better. Yeah, uh, and I I know I reference TikTok a lot, but I think TikTok is is genuinely changing the world. It's it's, it's bringing people together that otherwise would have never interacted with each other would have never yeah. learned about each other or their how they do things on this part of the world or right. you know i think it i mm-hmm. think it's genuinely obviously there's going to be the bad stuff too every mm-hmm. app is going to have it every social media is going to have it but with tiktok people are i'm at least i know i'm coming across more and more real videos of people just being real talking yeah. about their actual like what's going on in their lives and and how they're dealing with things and doing stuff they're actually sharing yeah and i think it's helping a lot of people because people are finding those people that think like them and then they can yeah. kind of share those tips with each other on how they deal with certain situations so i think i think it's a great thing again it, there's everything good there's always bad you know yeah well it's kind of it's yin yang like you need the balance Mm -hmm. without good you can't have bad without bad you can't have good like there's no there's no reference point so there has to be bad and things i feel like people always see the bad and they mom monumentize on it like that's just oh my god everything is so bad okay but like let's recount all the good stuff right and like i know there's so many people like myself included who it's very hard to to weed out the good when we've gone through so much shit in our lives. So and I, I totally understand that. But at the end of the day, I can I can look at the good and say, like, that still was such a magical time to me and such a happy time for me that, like, that's what I'm going to focus on. And that's what I'm going to be OK with. And that's the experience that I'm going to choose to hold on to and not the negative parts, because why am I holding on to that? Especially when it comes again, history repeats itself. Right. Yeah. Why am I repeating my history to myself? Mm hmm. Why would I do that? Why am I stuck in the past? Why am I going to continuously live that whatever it was, good or bad, it doesn't matter. It was an experience. If I want to recount the good times, great. If I don't, okay, leave the negative because fuck it. It's already, there's nothing you can do about it. Mm -hmm. You just have to accept what has happened as what it is and be able to move on from it in a positive way. Walking out of the rubbles. Get out of that mindset. And it's it's hard. I get that. But it's, well, why live the other way? I've got good news and bad news. I'm going to give you good and bad right now. Good oh. news is we have completed season three. Of, 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 of Not So Common Sense. We have Hooray! made it. We've officially made it three full seasons. Bad news is we're at the end of the episode. It's Aww. over. We did it, oh, and man. we are going to be off for a couple of weeks, probably uh, between seasons. Before season four comes back, we want to get some more exclusive content out to you guys. And please be sure to follow us on all of our social media. It's it's going to have all of our information on. We're on pretty much everything: Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitch, Twitter. We're we're everywhere. All of us. Discord. Stuff. We're in all all of the places. So all of the places. Um. Find us wherever you can to keep up with all of our exclusive content that's going to be coming out and the updates of when we will be back with season four. Going to finally, uh, I, th- I thought we were going to get to the conspiracies 
uh, this oh, season. Oh man, this I was episode, just rambling but, on and on and on. Yeah, That's yeah. on me. Sky, Sky just kind of. Her ADHD took over, and we, we never got <laughs> to it. I couldn't shut the fuck up. Uh, but next season, <laughs> season four, we're for sure getting to the conspiracies. I'm excited about it. We got some good ones. And uh, Sky, is there anything you want to say before we head out for the end of the season? Yes, guys, make sure you are on top of our socials because we've got some exclusive content just for them. We have been starting to put some of them out, sprinkling them here and there. So make sure you're following, like, subscribe, push, comment, all of the things. To keep us relevant by the time we get back. That's right. And, and don't forget, not just pets.org. Yes, not just get your pets. Raffle dot org. Org. <laughs> org. Uh, I'm kidding. Don't look it up, people. <laughs> Calm down with your hashtags. We'll be back in a couple weeks, probably. Thank you guys for everything, all the continued support. We're looking forward to seeing you guys very, very soon. Again, mm-hmm. keep an eye out for our exclusive content. And uh, one thing to always remember, read the the room. room.